after running year end it's quite common to start looking at removing information that you no longer need to be in your accounts. So for instance, removing old invoices and old orders that you don't need to be in your live data. Now you've got two options when it comes to removing that type of information. One is to delete it and the other is to hide it by applying a filter. Now we're going to have a look at that in the software and we'll show you both options and we'll just run through a quick demonstration. We're just going to base the demonstration on the invoices and credits list. However, the same steps apply to both the sales orders and the purchase orders list as well. So if you did want to delete either invoices or orders, you can just highlight them on the list and then literally at the top, click delete. So we'll be prompted to confirm, do you want to delete all of the selected invoices in this example? We click yes and they're removed from the list as long as they meet the criteria for the relevant area. As an alternative to deleting records, because you might not want to delete it, but if you've got thousands of invoices or orders on your list, you might just need to tidy that up. So a good alternative is to apply a filter so that it will hide your older invoices or orders. So it's very easy to do this, and you'll see we've got a mixture of dates on here. So if we only wanted to display the in this case the invoices in the current financial yes what we can do is we can go up to filter and then just complete the filter row so in the join column we set that to where the fields loads of fields to choose from but the one we're after if we just scroll down is invoice date there it is and then in the condition we're going to choose is greater than or equal to and then in the value we can just specify the first day of our financial year, which in our example is the 1st of January. We then click Apply, click Close, and you'll see we've now only got the invoices and credits that meet that filter or that satisfy that, that criteria that we specified in the filter. So it means that we can tidy our lists without actually deleting information. The information is still there in the background, it's just it's filtered. So if we want to see everything again, we can just click on this little button in the top corner to switch off the filter and we can we're back to the original list then we can switch that on and off at any point so that's a great way of filtering your lists and the added bonus is if you are a multi-user version of the software it only impacts on your view so everyone else will still see that full list whereas on yours you've got that filtered list showing you the fewer records making it easier to find what you're after